Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are at It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You're wasting your energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and joining to me today is a lot of static coming through from Amy. <sighs> As usual. Yeah. Also, always Amy. also joining me is Stuart. <laughs> it's always Amy's fault, isn't it? Yeah. always Amy. Then we have Hawk. Good evening, and go... Oh, oh, you do not shoot that green shit at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> and then we have Air Doc. Locked. We have Doc. Good evening. This yeah. podcast is brought to you by alcohol. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I thought that was Bill. I thought that was Bill Knight. <laughs> and no, we can't have Bill Knight. last but not oh, least, we have. Last but not least, we have Cooper. Hey. So tonight on the podcast, we are talking Deadpool. <laughs> And the Jurassic World trailer. We've got something a little bit special at the end if we've got time, but I don't want to announce it until then in case we don't have time. So, anyway. We'll find time. We'll always find time. We can always just keep going. After a lot of work that we can do that now. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Uh, you Breaking the system. Uh, anyway, so Deadpool. Who here hasn't seen it? I think you mean Daredevil. Daredevil. Sorry. Well, my brain is just not... If we're talking Deadpool, none of us have seen it because it hasn't released yet. I'm sorry. Unless, uh, I'm sorry, world. We're blaming, we're blaming Coop for this. He was fangirling over Marvel movies about two minutes ago. Yeah, and he was ragging on about Deadpool. So I'm blaming him. And it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm looking at a Deadpool logo in front of me on something unrelated. Nothing to do with that I'm, at all. I'm hoping it's not Deadpool underpants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good God. Okay. That's and you. Anyway, Tango, who? <laughs> oh God, no! Uh, who hasn't seen Daredevil? I got it right that time, and it was Netflix's Daredevil. Thanks. I'm on the second not, last episode, not, so not, I'm not, like not the blown. horrible movie. No, not 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 that god awful movie that when I get my hands yep. on the time gem, I'm going back in time to get rid of. <laughs> It doesn't no, quite work that way. It doesn't work that way, dude. You do that, we lose. We'll probably use the Marvel universe. That is a fair point. That is a fair point. We must suffer through the Deadpool movie in order to get the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'll I'll accept that payment. That, that... Daredevil. <laughs> Todd. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> That's it. I quit. The Deadpool underpants off your head. That's it. I quit. I'm out. I'm gone. Bye. What you airlocking yourself? <laughs> anyway, shall we continue on? Yeah, it might be yes. idea. Okay. So who's watched Daredevil? Yes. I watched yes. the first episode. <sighs> I'm on the twelfth episode. I am right at the end. I'm like, got one left. <laughs> Sadly, every time I sit down to watch it, I get distracted. What the hell is that noise? My home. Sounds like someone's dinner. Yeah. Uh, it's not so much by who, much. it's by what, dog. No. Uh. So, okay, any, yeah, I'm enjoying any... what I've seen of it. I want to have a chance to watch more, but I haven't had that chance as yet. Okay. Yes. I've, I've watched all of it from start to finish. I really enjoyed it. And yep. um, I'm... Just, to lack of a better way of putting it without ruining too much of it, I'm disappointed that it took so long to get the suit. And the yeah. suit looks fucking badass. Oh yes, yeah. hell yes. It's a little he's a less, broke like, lawyer. Suit costs little, money. He's a little more late. It's a little less latex than the Ben Affleck version. Yeah, and by a little less latex, he means none. None. <laughs> so instead of the latex, Leathery. we've gone for the uh, leather, leather dominatrix look. Uh, it's very tech gear, so. very tactical looking gear, and it looks really nice. It's um, made of a microfibery wibbly wobbly BS thing that sort of which has put... been explained in the episode I'm up to, but I already know what the suit looks like thanks yeah. to the images. So yeah, so it's it can sort of deflect <laughs> sharp objects like knives and stuff, and it can absorb 
punches to a decent degree. So, what do we think of? Um, like if I get hit by the Hulk. Yeah, pretty much. Get if you get hit by the Hulk, you're dead. There's just there's not much that suits me to you're stop in it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the Jimmy oh. from IMAX got pretty messed in that. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that that's the since first time that the Hulk Plus is actually wonderful. La la la. Remember, <laughs> this is not the Avengers podcast. If you want to listen to the Avengers podcast, go listen to the special edition of that. It is on YouTube and on iTunes. So we're not talking Avengers in this podcast. If they want to listen to it, they can go there. Um, so dead. Wow. Daredevil. Uh, <laughs> I actually stopped to make sure I had the right name and still got it wrong. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, Daredevil, Daredevil, Daredevil. It's Daredevil, not Deadpool. God damn it. Like I said, this, pro- this podcast brought you by alcohol. Yeah. I think he needs some if I, to if, get his head back on straight. If, if only I could Why use that as an excuse. Okay, anyway. No, yes. no, do not. Daredevil. What do we think of the bad guy? Kingpin? Yeah. Yeah, I like him. He's really... Dark, dark, yeah. dark. Oh, I'm really he's not, flipping dark. He's not dark. diabolical. Um, ego. He's not like diabolical evil. He's messed up evil. Like he's that stage in between Go robbing that. banks and causing nuclear explosions. Yeah. And not so, a... It, I'm a little bit of evilness. Yeah, he's, but he's sort of justified... In his own way as to what he's yeah, doing. He, he wants tries to, to justify. Yeah, he tries to justify it even though it's totally crazy. He effectively wants to rebuild the city and make it better and sort of kill everyone in the process? Yeah, pretty much kill everybody and then rebuild the city and go, ha, perfection. There's no th- so. such thing as perfection. So he's pretty yeah. much trying to get all the money to Basically he's rebuild to his own image. Yeah. And, oh great! Uh, he's trying to. He's trying. That's a good comparison, Stu. He's trying to do it in Ultron. Yeah. Um. And I like how they they do reference Iron Man and Thor and the rest of the cinematic yeah. universe in the series, which I thought was actually brilliant. Yeah, so, they brought it up in the first episode. Yeah. yeah for exactly. The, for those who don't know how this is set, this is set off the um the events of Avengers One. Yeah. That's. It's yeah. It's set. I think it's set before Shield falls. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, no, they, I, they don't they, they don't hey, reference shield so it's hard to sort yeah, of say no. hey to interrupt but apparently um the dvd release of ultron will be an extended cut with an alternate ending oh, of course okay. really do you have a link to verify your source because the last three times you have told us something <laughs> on this you've been wrong twice <laughs> i'm gonna patch it through in a bit yeah no we want it now Stuart? Yeah, one second. Stuart, do the thing. <laughs> mm. Uh, airlock? No. When he posts something, line. you go check it. Do the thing. Oh. After all, you're the news guy. You're the one that's meant to be fact checky. Sorry, I've been dealing with my granddad in the hospital lately, okay? Okay, excuse accepted. Maybe. I'll, let, accepted? I'll let the chat room decide. Show the kids some slack, yeah. mate. Yeah. Anyway, um, okay. if you if you are listening to this live and you are in the chat room, feel free to log in and comment. We do keep an eye on it. We do read them out on the air if they if they're a lot of fun. It's half the fun of the yeah. podcast. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. See. Anyway, the, back to back to Daredevil. Yeah. Back back to Daredevil. Um, yes. I actually thought it was really well done. Like the they didn't harp on the the blind and can see type thing too much. Like they sort yeah, of alluded to it for ages, um, and then after sort of a little while, they sort of explained how he does see, and then it's sort of done really, really well. Um, it has you guessing for a while. Yeah. What else is here? I actually um, I actually um. In Daredevil, I actually like um like lawyer Matthew Murdock more than um Daredevil version. Like I same, really same. Yeah. I'm really... I still can't get over the argument um that he and Foggy were having in the episode I just watched. Um, <laughs> that that was really depressing. <laughs> I actually found that quite depressing. Yeah, but I I love it. Like I, not many people like like it doesn't really get um like. When it comes to like lawyers or things, like I really always find them really intriguing, and I'm glad that it shows a lot more of that side rather than the 
kick ass. Like, nothing wrong with kick ass Daredevil. But the yeah. other side of him really gets a nice little portrayal as well. Yeah. I like it how he doesn't even start off with weapons, and the weapons aren't introduced till his mentor dude turns up. Um, whose name eludes me. Stick. Stick, that's it. Yeah, he turns I, up. It's funny, stick watching the first... Or Stig. The... Stick. 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 It's funny, watching the first... It would be interesting, though, episode... if it was the Stick. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> every... There's, there's a few things that need to be added into the background of the cinematic universe just for shits and giggles. One, there needs to be a TARDIS. Two, <laughs> in one of the battle scenes, someone has to add, this, add the Stig just standing in the background with his arms crossed for no reason. <laughs> He's just there to be there. You know, scary this. thought I just had? What? Time Gem, the TARDIS. <laughs> no, Time oh. Gem, the Stig. Oh, yeah. hell. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> wait, wait. TARDIS works right, better. Right, right, after right, after right, all, right, the right, Stig right. managed to beat both the Flash and Superman in a race around the world in a smart car. Okay, we game. know he's not human, but seriously. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> right, back to the point. Yes. Back to the point. Um, watching the first few episodes, it felt like it was a vigilante sort of crime show with yeah. the whole lawyer aspect to begin with. It was really well done. Yeah, I like that. And then Daredevil, the actual vigilante version of him, started popping me off a bit more and it got really, really brutal. Oh, yeah. Well, technically, isn't any of the anti, um, the vigilantes very brutal anyway, if you think about it? Yeah, uh, I still can't get over that bit where the guy who he didn't want to kill embedded himself on the knife. Yeah. That was just... That wow. was messed up. Oh, man. That show is brilliant. It really, yeah, uh, um... And it's great that um that's been confirmed for season two. Like we still had an inkling it was gonna be a season two, but they actually confirmed that it was gonna be a season two of it. So. Yeah. So I'm still waiting for season two of the last ship. So if anyone from the studios are listening in, get working on it. Yeah, I Netflix. don't. I don't think there's a season two of the last ship coming. And to be perfectly it's, it's honest, it's already been confirmed, Dave. Oh, it has. Okay, well then I admit I am wrong. By the way, just they confirmed for the confirmed it went as soon as the first one ended because of how popular it got by the end. Um, just a random note. Um, there has I have confirmation on the alternate ending for Avengers: Age of Ultron. You're welcome. Um, so collider. Uh, yeah, you. yeah. So Are you that's a sure thing. Sure about that? That's it's a collider interview with Joss Whedon. That's the reference that I found. So you mean that I found? Yes, I found you yes, found, we and then I it back to its original source. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, You're welcome. Yeah. Supposedly, it was yes. Amazon UK flyer. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Well, I went to check the Amazon UK site. So it's probably been taken down by now. Yeah. If it wasn't meant to be out. Um, anyway, Daredevil. What did we think of the friend's reaction when he found out? Oh, fog. Oh, fog. No, was that justified no. or was that a little half bit justified half justified i understand it, it, it should be a natural reaction but personally i didn't want it to happen like that it really it actually hurt me personally because i just didn't like it yeah uh, it like it was necessary to to react like that but i like personally i felt heartbroken after it it was a bit depressing yeah um overkill no, actually, I thought it was justified. If, if it was justified, yeah. If 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 what my housemate comes out and go and was blind and then comes out and goes, oh, by the way, I've been able to see this whole time. I'd be, <laughs> I'd be pretty pissed. Okay. <laughs> I. Well, he can't really see. He uses his ears to see. Yeah, he sort of uses a trippy echolocation thing to see. Yeah, so no. He's so, a dolphin. So... <laughs> No, but he's it, more of a bat. Uh, yeah, but the point is, he can effectively see. Yeah. That's the thing. He. Hence why he said yes and no. Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah. Oh, um, he's doing Batman. Can see enough to get around. Exactly. <laughs> and. I'm not surprised that comparison came from you, babe. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. But then again, if anyone was going to. If anyone from the DC universe was to be put into the same cat 
same uh, shit box that Daredevil's in. The only one that could possibly survive it would be bats. Yeah. Batman. Well, <laughs> Batman without gadgets versus Daredevil. Who would win? Daredevil. Daredevil. No. 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 Batman... No. No. Because Batman can't too much on his It'd be close. <laughs> On his It'd be close. I'm not. I'm sorry, but Batman my was personal by thought Rachel is Ty both out. Yeah, both it'd lying be pretty, it'd be unconscious too close to on the ground. Do, do people forget Batman was trained loss. by Ra's al Ghul, or am I the only one here? It's well, well, I don't know he's you trained, forget the but... fact that um, he also made his own martial arts. Child, trained from a child, uh, like from like ten years old, by Stick. Thank yeah. you very much. And it and but there is I and Stick was trained time. by a, a the equivalent of what seemed like the League of Assassins in Marvel. Yeah. Sort of okay, we've gone off group. topic. Shall we get back on topic? No, we're no. still relating to Daredevil. And it's... but to be fair, it would end up as a stalemate because neither could come to the idea of killing each other. Killing each yeah. 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 It is. Uh, I, I, to be honest, I actually have to agree with Stuart. I thought Batman played a little bit fast and loose with morals sometimes. Sometimes, uh, but he always has the don't kill rule. There's always the don't kill rule. You can always just get Jason. The, the Marvel verse is more flexible on that than the DC verse. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So it's a little fuzzy when it comes to kneecaps? Yeah. He's more than happy to yeah, break a few things. Is kneecaps going to uh, kill you? Depends. Do you get oh, a blood clot? A... I say, like, Bats has broken a fair few bones. I mean, just look at the Arkham games. Yeah. <laughs> He's broken well, more than the bones. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway. Uh, I, I actually agree with Stuart. Batman would win. It like, would it'd be an interesting fight, but uh, Batman oh, yeah. would win. Because, <laughs> yeah. Batman is Batman. He's probably got an anti-sonar oh, spray on his belt. I wasn't going to do the whole because he's Batman. No thing. gadgets, I'm remember. Going, I know. He's... <laughs> Like, here's the thing, Bruce Wayne is trained in over 50 different styles of martial arts, including his own that he created. No. But he wouldn't be able to do shit if Daredevil blinded him, thank you very much. Yeah. We're saying no gadgets. How would he blind him? Stick his fingers in his eye? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, to be fair, actually, Batman trained while, while he was bl um, blindfolded, blindfolded as well. He's used yeah. to being blind. Yeah. Ah. yeah, well, think of it this way. Uh, to quote Bane, uh, wow, I forgot his name again. Daredevil was effectively born in darkness. Batman adopted it. Yes, I'm Bane. Well played. Well played. <laughs> That's more paraphrasing than anything. Yeah, I know. Not the point. Not the point. The message is the same. Is it bad that we all try and do Bane impressions? No, you guys did. I didn't even bother. I didn't even bother. No. Yes. Come on, it was bad enough seeing Bane in a dress at Supernova. <laughs> oh, that was now. awesome. That was Princess great. Princess Bane was amazing. <laughs> that was disturbing. <laughs> He's a good friend of mine. Still disturbing. Actually, fact, still to, disturbing, dude. The, the fact that he's a good friend of yours, Stuart, actually all of a sudden makes sense. <laughs> oh. Don't oh. uh, forget, I remember Princess Batman from last year. Yeah, yeah I remember. Are you sure it's not the same person? Probably. No, a different, uh, no, no, a different, different sort of body, different body shape. Yeah. Probably inspired by Princess Bats. Yeah. Could be. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see the whole DC thing, please. No. Uh, uh, anyway. Just like to make you suffer. Okay. <laughs> what would we rate Daredevil out of ten, starting with Stuart? Uh, I'm going nine. Nine. It, it's not perfect for me yet, but it's absolutely incredible. I just want to see. I just want to see. Uh, an, I just want to see a, an Electro reference. I know. I know. The last re Electro wasn't that good, but I just want to see one anyway. Yeah. Uh, Amy, how much have you seen? What would you rate it? Uh, first episode. Um. What, what would you rate it off the first one? Um, I think about an eight. Eight. Yeah. Sounds about just, fair. I like the whole concept of scaring the girls out of the c container. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was good. That was good. Because they wouldn't, Actually, remo wouldn't move themselves. Yeah. Okay, Dave, what about... Uh, sorry, Scarecrow, what about you? I'm giving it a solid, uh, very high 7, borderline 8 from what I've seen so far. Uh -huh. How far are you into it? 
about three quarters through the first episode. If people, if I'd stop getting interrupted every time I try to watch it, it would be a lot more enjoyable. <laughs> uh, See, this is what, this is why you should have just come to watch it supernova with me. Yeah, um, I Doc, was busy. Uh, Doc, what about you? How much have you seen? I've seen all the first episode from yep. just from that. Probably a six for the Daredevil part, but eight for Mad, Matt Murdock himself. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, average out seven. Nice. And Coop, what would you give it? Um, at first, Wait, it was, gonna, it, it was a nine. Vote? What? Uh, it was, it was eight. Um, because of like the, like, I got really sick of the Daredevil appearances. But the second the um that the bloke got lit on fire, nine. The second the guy lit on fire, that was amazing. Uh, if they Flat had a on. if they had a camera looking at me right now, all they would see is the anime face with a water droplet next to my face. So for me, I would probably rate it a solid eight. I'm it's definitely Marvel. It's definitely worth watching if you haven't seen it. Definitely watch it. Um, it's still better than Arrow. Yeah, oh, it's better than Arrow and Flash. We're, we're, mm. gonna, we're gonna deal with Arrow and Flash when their season runs out in a couple of weeks. So yeah, um, you mean when the show's finally over. No. No, the season, not the show. Yeah, when the oh, season's no, over. Oh no, the show. Yeah. Well, if no, my the show is correct, correct. Oh, that's actually the most. Yeah popular and effective shows that the DC Verse has come up with in the last 10 years. Yeah. Really? And considering they're making yeah. a third spin-off, I very highly doubt it's going anywhere. Doc, you were Which saying something? About. If my memory serves correctly, the final episode of Alvaro will be the 20, 28th in the States. Yep. Sweet. So we might even talk about it next week then. Uh, next week or the week after. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I thought I had a couple. I thought I had a couple more episodes because the reason why um, Willa had to left is because they're actually still filming episodes. Yeah, no, I, you know, I, I don't know. Because um, that's uh, they might have, said that, they could have been. Yeah. It could have just been a couple of little. Say. There could have been a couple of extra little things she needed to film, or maybe she needed yeah. to do some tie-in material for something else. Yeah, I think, I think that sounds a bit more likely. Yeah. Alright, should we move on to Jurassic Park? Yes. yes, Jurassic World. For those who haven't seen the trailer that dropped a couple of weeks ago, like Supernova Weekend, we had Star Wars trailers. We had oh. we had so many yeah. trailers that Jurassic was, Park slipped through the gap. Jurassic we had World. eight trailers in yeah, we had no. eight trailers drop in a, in a period of a th of three days. Yeah, that well, is unheard of. While well, Jurassic World, not Jurassic Park. It's, it's, the same it's, sort of thing. it's technically Jurassic Park Four, but yes, it is Jurassic World. Um, Similar universe, different characters. Yeah, effectively. Um, but More accurately, they decided to finally get the damn park open after f three or four attempts of it failing. Catastrophically. You'd think that would sort well, of set off a lot. That's why it failed. You, yeah, you think Dinosaurs and not humans are it. not meant to coexist. Yes, Ever. they're not. Yes, they're not. Especially velociraptors and people riding motorbikes. <laughs> Raptor <All> squad. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so, well, he sort of tamed them to him, so... Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, um... So, the new trailer dropped. It goes for about two, two and a half minutes. It's up on Save Sci-Fi for those who want to watch it. Uh, it's you up might on have YouTube to... if they want to go watch it. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> up on YouTube if you want to watch it. That'd be the better place, because otherwise you have to scroll through a week's worth of Save Sci-Fi material to find it. <laughs> which which yeah. is always fun, but yeah. Um, anyway, so we see all sorts of new things, including the, the new big bad dinosaur. The Indominix Rex or something it's called? Yeah, some really funny, awesome mm, name for yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and... It ate its sibling. Yeah, it ate its sibling. And the, you see it, it manages to... They, it seems like the scene in the first trailer where they're looking at the, the fence and they're like, did it, it climb out? How did it climb out? Sort of thing. It looks like straight after that is when it just appears out of somewhere and attacks them and chases them out of the paddock and that's how it escapes. So it actually sort of outsmarts them in a way. Um, and then sort of runs havoc through the park, just, just killing everything because killing hunting everything. Hunting for fun. Yeah, hunting for fun, just because yeah, you can. That's the, phrase, that's the phrase they used. Yeah. No, the hunting for killed, sport. Killed a, killed a heap of yeah. um, brontosaurs, and you see it attacking the kids, and 
all sorts of fun things like that. Yeah, so, just, being, just in general, being a douche. I'll be yeah. honest. Mm. Yeah, but like, and then you see that him training the raptors and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, I love his comment to the lady in charge. Yeah, that's it's nothing sus. Nothing <laughs> sus. It's, it's not <laughs> the worst pickup line ever. <laughs> it's like there's no there's no sexual tension at all, is there? No. No, the whole comment of you're late to them. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we mean. It's like there's, there's nothing sus about that comment at all. Uh, but no. did you did you notice that later on the raptors are killing people as well? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So eventually the um, the Rex manages to, lack of a better way of putting it, take control of all the other dinosaurs or communicate with each other to take control of them, which I think, to be perfectly honest, is I a little bit, it's, yeah. I think it's out. Of, I think they're. I think they just follow because it's out of fear. Yeah. They don't want to be eaten. Pretty much. It's yeah. Like, okay. Okay. We'll listen to you now. Yeah, you see the pterosaurs escaping. You see one of them getting eaten by the um, Tylosaurus, which is pretty pretty impressive to watch. Stolen by the pterodactyl. A Tylosaurus. Yeah, a giant. Think of it like a reptilian crocodile thing that lives underwater. It's, oh, that thing. It's effectively yeah. a reptilian killer whale, but massively, yeah. ridiculously <laughs> huge, with a crocodile as, head. As, <laughs> as Liam Neeson once said, there's always a bigger fish. That was... Oh, yeah, that was, yeah. That was Liam Neeson. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Stuart, you're airlocked. Goodbye. He had that coming. He had that coming. <laughs> For once, it wasn't yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, I know I had it coming. <laughs> so, Ooh, toasted iron golem. Yeah. So, yeah. And, what? Um, what? And we we see it trying to take down. We see them trying to take it down with machine guns and stuff like that. It's like guys, missiles. You see them shoot a missile at nothing, which I'm assuming um, later on in in post viz they're going to add the dinosaur in, like they've done before. They've shown shots yeah. previous and post viz in the trailer. Um, but yeah, it's it looks like it's a very bad day to be in the park. Mm. So what gave well, you that idea? Yeah. I don't know if it's a day trip or it's a. It's, there's, a, there's hotels and stuff there. It's a, you go there, you stay there, you come back later. That's why they don't have enough boats to get 20,000 people else. off the island. Basically, so, basically no, no, they're they, into... It's not that they don't have enough boats, it's that they've got no boats. Yeah. Basically, they turned it into SeaWorld Nara Resort. Pretty much, yeah. To say. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> middle of the, middle of the ocean. With dinosaurs. And a very pissed off, highly intelligent bad guy. So, I'm definitely bad looking dinosaur. forward to it. I'm gonna I'm gonna be there day one, definitely yeah. watching it. Oh yeah. Um, is, this case, like, is this the time to go om nom 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 nom? Kind of having yeah. rather crappy ticker. No. Yeah. My favorite line actually is it is is like we put a tracker in it and then it's like yeah she it, she took the tracker out. <laughs> it's like oh crap. Yeah. You'd think they'd put the tracker somewhere like say the back of the head where it can't reach it. Or... Somewhere where it's tiny little, uh, apparently doesn't have tiny little arms. Oh That's no, not... it's got. It's... it's got big arms. Yeah, it's got Spinosaurus style Generally, arms. Generally, you'd want to knock them the, the freak out before you insert a, a probe a into their device. head or something. Yeah, or a tracking device. Yeah. Because you don't want them to remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but hey, that'd be common sense. Remember, they when they were making this park, they spared no expense. Except on the Ford Rangers and on locking mechanisms that work, and <laughs> on steel cables that, um, when when, when unelectrified, don't break very easily. And <laughs> so we spared no expense except on everything. <laughs> yeah, well, what is what do you expect? Exactly. Well, also by using those words, so you could say they spared no expense. They didn't spend a damn thing. <laughs> Fair point. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, it's it's definitely going to be interesting. And for those that are curious, there's actually a fan trailer that's been made where they just mess with the Jurassic Park trailer. It's absolutely hilarious. Jurassic World. Yeah, sorry, Jurassic World trailer. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, it's funny as. Okay, but... here's a question. Yep. How many of the kids, of those two kids, do you think will come out alive? None. Both. None. Both. It's a it's probably going to well, be yeah, a PG be both, movie. To move. None. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. If it's a, if they're at least both out, I at least want at least want a leg or a, I want a limb missing. Yeah. Well, see, it's Jurassic. It's Jurassic Park event inevitably. 
every Jurassic Park movie has had a kid in it to sort of have the, oh my god, the kids are in danger, and they always get out. Example, Velociraptor's refrigerator. Enough said. <laughs> you had one job. Yeah. Bloody dinosaur wrangler. One yeah. job. There. Um, I just want. Graphic. I just wonder if. I just wonder if Sam Neil will make a cameo somewhere. That'd be pretty cool. I know that. I know he won't. But it'd be sort of cool if. Or if like, at least at least make a reference to him or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, considering the original guy that created Jurassic Park, that actor, um, he actually died not that long ago. So. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be. Nice they put something in. For Richard Ambro, though. Yeah, Richard yeah, Ambro. Yeah. Giant statue. Yeah. So. That would be nice. nice. That'd be nice. There. Anyway, since apparently it's only halfway in and we've run out of stuff to talk about, let's move on to the mystery topic. Dun 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 dun! The, oh, yeah. the mystery topic is. The child. The. Gem. Infinity Stones. Infinity Stones! I, I was trying to think what they were called, I wasn't pausing. Gems. Gems. Are it's time gems. For gems. Gems. Um, they're called a thing. I've forgotten what the thing is. So, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, uh, we in Avengers they sort of highlighted what gems were what in a way to sort of um, analyze things. So you got the Tesseract is the space gem. You've got the reality gem is the ether, which was from Thor: Dark World. The power gem is the purple gem no, the from yeah, no, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah, and the mind the and the mind gem was inside. The scepter, and is now in the possession of um, Vision. wow, Vision. Vision, yeah. God, my brain is just not working. It's just, just yeah, it's a favor. Maybe we should be quiet. Yeah. So, so anyway, we we're, we're looking at the future Marvel movies and trying to work out where these other two gems are going to come into it, and where Thanos might acquire some of the gems that we already know about. So, coming up, we've got Ant Man, which. Pretty much unanimous. No. 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 We've got um, Captain America: Civil War. Maybe. Uh, no. Or at least, no. Really. Or, probably no. no, no. But at least probably reference won't. something. At yeah. least reference something at the end of. In the yeah, they they yeah. hint to it, sure, but it's too big of its own thing to include yeah, something it for sets everything up. Yeah. It's, it's the one movie that still starts the setup for everything. Yeah, and Civil War is probably going to be epic in its own right, so... Oh, yeah. Um, then the next one on the list is <sighs> Doctor Strange. Yep. Do we, do we think yep. a stone's going to yep. come in that? Which one do we think is going to come into that one, then? Soul Gem. Soul Gem? In no, what... I, think the t I think it would be more the Time Gem, to be honest. Because mm. yeah, they're the two we're missing, is the Soul and the Time Gem. Time Gem. So... What's the reasoning behind which gem you think is going to turn up in Doctor Strange? Um, Soul Gem. I, mean, I, re I reckon because um, Dormammu. Oh, yes. I forgot about Dormammu. He's basically a ghost rider, but his entire head's on fire, not just the top of his skull. Essentially. Yeah. Sorry, how the hell do you spell that? Um, uh, D O R M U M U. I don't remember. I have no idea. Um, D O R M A M M U. Oh, yeah, D O R M. Yes. Yeah, go that's yeah, Google for you. Go. So, <laughs> why do we think he's got a gem? Let me look into his bio. <laughs> I've, I've got what Stu does with the DC things now. It's, this is what it's turned Get to. away from DC, seriously. I know, I'm just saying I've got a giant encyclopedia. Yeah. I'm just using Dark Wikipedia. Dimension. I bet, yeah, I bet you the soul gem is being possessed in the Dark Dimension. Yeah. For the sheer fact, soul, Satan, that whole philosophy sort of deal. Yeah. There. So, what's what's your guess, Doc? You said time gem. What makes yeah, you so say? I, I believe you... the time. No, I said the soul gem would be in the 
possession of Doctor Strange. Yeah. Because simply because it has been strange? in his possession. No, it has been in the possession of Doctor Strange in the past in the actual comics. Okay. Hey, hey comic books. So. And hey, can I, I have source? Can I have source somewhere? Yeah. Can I explain the um time gem? Sure. Time um, gem. Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. Look, yeah. Um, if you look at it, they've got such an advanced technology compared to what even Stark has, hence the whole vibranium mine. Yeah. It would seem that, like Hydra were doing, they were using the gem to source energy. Yeah. So it'd be the perfect place to do it. Yeah. Well, the next move a lot movie after Doctor Strange is Guardians of the Galaxy 2, which I think is where, if Thanos is going to get a, a gem, his first gem... Yeah, it'll be, from there. It'll be yeah. probably there. So and that means he'll he'll most probably hit up the collector and grab the power gem. Yeah, effectively. Well, no, and, the collector doesn't have the power. The collector doesn't have the power gem. Yes, he does. The Guardians. No, it didn't. Oh yeah, that's right. He does too. Yeah, the collector. The collector's oh, no, no, got no. the um reality no, gem. No, the, the collector, Guardians, collector the does not have the reality gem because it would have been scattered when his. Place was exploded the in the Guardians of the Galaxy. No, well, no, no, no. The no, reality the gem Guardians. is the red one. The power gem is what they have. Yeah. The power. They have both. They have both. If you watch the end of Thor. Yeah. Thor yes. give the reality yes. gem gets given to the collector, and it's not. Sh and it's. Sh he sort of puts it in his vault, so to speak. That's sort of oh, my no. understanding. Sorry, not so. even the collector has the power gem. Um, the Nova Corps do. Yeah, the Nova yes. Corps have got that. So I think Thanos will. Smash yeah, the Nova Core and take the Power Gem at some point well, during Galaxy Galaxy Two. Smashed enough the first, so then you get smashed enough the first time. Yeah. But it's always fun to um, smash up the police Vendor. in the area. Yeah. Vendor. So I that the next. It doesn't exactly hurt that they that it, every t it doesn't exactly hurt that by smashing the Nova Core you're basically s smashing on Mario. With all the starfighters, pretty much, yeah. And then um, the next Marvel movie to come out after that is only wow, it's actually really close. May fifth for Guardians and um, oh, Thor's been bumped back. Don't worry, I was going to yeah. say July for Thor, but Thor's been bumped back since his yeah, the, that, the be picture a, I'm looking at. Been... That's when Spidey comes out. Yeah, that's Spidey, when Spidey. That, that's the Spider-Man movie comes out, so that won't have anything there. Yeah. Um, well, you, you never know. It might. Well, it, it's un it, unlikely, it, it, but it might. I don't think of anything to do with the gems, but it'll probably set up him going to, into the Infinity War. Yeah. Mm. And then, um, we've got Thor Ragnarok. Yep. Um, yep. that is definitely... Like that, what can possibly go wrong? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much okay. the end of... I think anything with Thor goes wrong. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> I it was into that pretty neat. Whoa! Oh. Sounds getting a bit crackly. What happened to that? What happened then? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, so Thor, Thor Ragnarok. What I expect is Thanos is gonna smash the Asgardians, and at the very least, take the Tesseract. Well, what do you expect? They're too um. Oh yeah, I forgot too well settled in their abilities. Yeah, they're very, they're very arrogant in their dominance. But at the same time, they're also smart enough to, to send one of the Infinity Gems off to the Collector for safekeeping. <laughs> then, then again... Inverted, the, inverted commas yes. for radio. <laughs> because just remember, at the end of... Dark, Thor the Dark World, the Collector does say, one down, five to go. Yeah. So that could possibly mean that he is actually collecting it for Thanos. Wait. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Double cross. Yeah. What else do you expect with him? So. Come on. Look what he does he to his he... um, slaves. Yeah. He kept bloody Howard the Duck for crying out loud. Yeah, so but... I want to keep that. I but, think uh... that's, yeah, that, I think that's more of a service for the rest of the universe. Look, it's okay, universe. I got him. He's caged up. We don't have to worry about him. He's out of the way. Just, just let's forget about him, and he'll go away. You leave I Howard like, alone. I like Howard the Duck. Yeah. I remember the 1980s movie 
Yep, with that. Let's just say there is not enough alcohol that can make me forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that... yeah. The whole um interspecies, the um the whole bestiality section in it was kind of disturbing. Kind of. Never seen it. Yeah, don't. Be thankful. Don't. <laughs> don't. Yeah. Probably shouldn't. Yeah, it, it, there's not enough therapy in the world to make it go away. No. <laughs> Okay, anyway, Long moving... story short, Leah Thompson is attracted to a duck. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, so, let's see, we've got... Um, we said Doctor Strange, we suspect, is going to be the soul gem, yeah? No, yep. the, yeah, the soul gem. Yeah, and then... That's... Time gem, the... we think, will be Black Panther. Oh, uh, yeah, Black Panther, we think, will be time gem, but we're not exactly sure when Black Panther's been bumped to. No, uh, it hasn't been a new day yet for it, because so I've been trying to it... find one. If it gets bumped too far, it could end up being fairly close to Infinity War Part 1. Because it's November and Infinity War's May. So... Um, wait, when's... Yeah, when's um Infinity War May 17, right? May 2017? Yeah. Yeah, November uh, 3, uh, 2017. Wait, what? No. Infinity War uh, is 2018. Yeah, it's 2018. Yeah, I, oh, okay. So yeah. then um, Black Panther's 2017, yeah. November 3rd. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that yeah, it's it, yeah. everything's and, jumped. And, and it's and that's been moved back. So it, it I got a sneaking suspicion if they're going to put it anywhere they might only bump it back a little and make it a Christmas release. Yeah. Well, uh, probably I'll, I'll, I'll probably be our big boxing day. Movie, yeah. Yeah. Because it's always one every Again, year. oh, another possibility is it could actually be Thor. Yeah. Again, another known owner of this of the time gem. Yeah. True. Yes. So that could be revealed in the events of Ragnarok. Yeah, that that's a fair point. I've, uh, one of the things we looked at before um, had Thanos spelt out as the names of the different things that the gems have been hidden inside. One of them was um, the Soul Gem, and they just lined that up with H just for giggles. And the first thought was Hammer. It'd be hilarious if inside Thor's hammer. We know that's not a canon thing. We know it's never happened before. I mean, it's not going to happen now. But I just thought it'd be hilarious that if inside Thor's hammer, the way that it detects if you're worthy or not is if there's actually the soul gem in there. And Thor loses his hammer so that um, Thanos can get the Infinity Gauntlet. I just thought that would be amusing. Does that mean redheads can't wield the hammer then? <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, oh, considering, considering that Natasha Romanoff has just said, I'm not picking that thing up. Yeah. Doc, so, we can barely. You're going fuzzy. Doc, you're there. You've yeah. dropped out. Yeah, I'm here. Doc, we can't hear you at all. You're, you've gone weird. <laughs> we lost Stuart as well. I know. I airlocked him. <laughs> He had it airlocking the wrong person. He had it coming. Am I good this time? Because I tried to get coming back. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you did that on purpose. No, <laughs> not at all. What would give you I that idea? I have the podcast that's sound running in the background. No, you don't. <laughs> don't try and Jedi. So, no. try, don't try and Jedi mind trick the Jedi. <laughs> So, anyway, after Black Panther, we've got, um, in the next Marvel-made movie on the list is, uh, Infinity War. Now, it part could one. be that, yeah, part one, it could be that that's where he, I reckon, that's where Vision dies? Oh, we lost somebody. Who'd we lose? Probably Doc. Um. Yeah, Doc. It's Doc. Yeah, we lost Doc. Doc will be back if Doc can come back. Doc, he come back? Anyway, um... I'm not going to sing it, don't worry. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I've got a sneaky suspicion. Avengers, uh, the Infinity War Part 1, the end of Part 1 will be him getting all of the stones. Or, or maybe even all but one of the stones. What is going on? I don't know, what yeah. is going on? Doc is being weird, so I'm just going to reset that. Um, and spaced. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Do you know what could happen? Sorry, but do you know what could happen at the end of the second part? Yeah. They jettison, they jettison the stones along with the Hulk, if people know what I'm hinting at. Yeah, um, we, I, I don't think so, because it's going to be a massive crossover 
event with all of the Marvel material made to that point. Um, or all the MCU material anyway. As far as I know, everything is coming back for Infinity War. What the hell is that noise? I know, but I I'm just saying at the very end of Infinity War Part 2, yeah. like, as a conclusion, like, it's an extra set, you see, oh, no, they can't. Oh, damn it, Fox. Yeah. The um, whole Illuminati sort of a deal. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Um, Vision has to die at some point. Because yeah. of, because of I don't know. Because of his stone. Uh, yeah. Vision has to... Vision has to die, and we don't know if they will actually kill Captain Cap off. Yeah, I got that's still, that happens in the comics, but it's probably not going to happen since they're doing the whole big uh, re booty yeah. thing. If, but if I was them, I would have the end of Affinity Wars, sort of like what the event, end of Avengers Two was, where it's the old guard handing it off to the new guard. The mm -hmm. end of end of Infinity Wars Two should be Iron Man gone, Cap gone, Thor gone, Hulk gone. And so they, what, Lady Lady Thor? They, no, no, just just they they just happen to go off and do their own thing somewhere else. They just they they're not involved in the movies anymore, and they're moving on and hand over the torch to Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, all of those. Spidey. Spidey. They hand sort of the torch over to them, and it's sort of like at the end of Avengers, where you see them setting up the new Avengers team with Hawkeye and. Sorry, not Hawkeye, with um, Scarlet Witch and Rhodey, uh, War Machine, um, Jet Fe the, the Falcon, and the, 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 the sort of the new Avengers. Yeah. So. I like how. Lane, uh, Lane the old Avengers new... have a life. Yeah. yeah. I like how Falcon's new wings have very much got Stark written all over them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Does that surprise you, though? Yeah. Stark well, like well, probably funds everything. And yeah. Rhodey doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Stark Stark um is the uh, but you as, gotta it, remember, as it said uh, in the movie, Stark Stark does fund all that stuff. But you gotta also remember that um the war machine at one point is ha is a lot of it is hammer tech. No. That was all stripped no, off. Yeah, he, oh, that, that, that was all <laughs> It was it was Excuse all me. stripped off during the refit to make him into um, the Iron Patriot. Something competent. And then at the end of Iron Man three, he was reset back to War Machine because we pretend Iron Man three didn't happen. It's oh, yeah. They did, Iron Patriot did the was literally just yeah. A weird because everyone, game. Knows, because everyone knows that the Iron Patriot is meant to be Norman Osborn. Yeah. So. What is that noise? Who are you, Bolly? I'm not. I'm eating chocolate. Wait a second. I'm getting crazy amounts of feedback through a channel somewhere. Probably be me. Eat, eat okay, if you're going to eat, eat off stream. If you're going to eat, move the microphone away. It is away. We can still hear it's it. Just fucking That's just me unwrapping then. the Easter egg. Just mute it then. There, problem solved, he's gone. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh yes, I'm back now. Ah! Back full Doc's back. Welcome back, Doc. So, yeah. so, if you guys are looking at this infographic I am, can you see the Inhumans mar uh, logo? Yes. How much does that look like a Pokeball? Thank you. <laughs> bloody hell. God, I got it. It does so... <laughs> It so does. <laughs> it's such a Pokeball. Even, hey, the that's Captain, even, the, even Captain Marvel ones looks a bit like a Pokeball. Yeah. Hey, that's it. Wait, that should be the tagline for um for the Infinity War. Gotta catch them all. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Space him now, <laughs> please. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Semi previous I disappear. He's... The time gem. <laughs> um, 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 Dark reason. Doc, you're very breaking up. You, you've got very poor bandwidth. It's just strange they're not downloading anything. Yeah. At least I shouldn't be. But yes, the time gem is in Thor's hammer because. Oh, right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Sorry, Doc. The time gem is in Thor's hammer. Because 
is forged in the heart of a dying star. Now, this, we know that dying stars usually turn to black holes. Well, if they're big enough. And otherwise, they're made enough, from... The, the, yeah, the, the, the canon way that it was made is with neutron holes. material. Yeah. So, yeah, that's actually a good point. I would actually hadn't considered that point. Um, because Thor's hammer was forged in the heart of a dying star, which is normally um, neutron-level material, which it's sort of... The way Thor's hammer is explained in the comics is it's actually nanobots that use um, neutron star material as power. It'd be interesting if that neutron material is actually a time gem. That's a, that's an incredibly good point. Um, incredibly good point indeed. Because let's face it, once you get into black hole territory, time gets a bit interesting. Yeah. And what's time? Also known as going out the fucking window. <laughs> Ten minutes to. I've actually, I've yeah. actually just, yeah, well, I've, no, I've actually just noticed something about the, all the Invincible Stones. Yeah. All, all of them have cases or, 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 or something in it. So. I mean, yeah, housings. So, yeah, so I wonder if, if the Soul Gem and the Time Gem will be in something rather than we just find it randomly. Yeah, it's more than likely going to be in something. The question is what? Well, what was the. I'm sorry, Doc, you're still breaking up catastrophically. What was the Tesseract encased in? The the Tesseract is the case. Yeah, it's the, the cosmic yeah, the, cube. The, the, the yeah. gem itself is inside the Tesseract. The Tesseract. Um, okay. And then you've got the scepter, was had the, the gem at the end, in the handle, um, at the top, the glowy gem thing. Yeah, Once you, when you open that up, the gem was inside that. When the the goopy stuff, that's the trippy one, because the ether. Yeah, the ether. Um, it have a in, in rocks. Because it was, it's technically a fluid as opposed to a solid. So, I'm curious as to how they're going to turn that into a gem. Probably just forge well, it. So we're yeah. as a plasma. So. So hit by lightning. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, Thor. Thor, what did you do? <laughs> Bad girl. Well, you touched it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Just, it's, just a little bit toasty. Wouldn't actually be the issue of actually um, Stark getting to it? What do you mean? What do you think Stark would do to it if he got hold of it? Of what? Oh, oh God. Yeah. Oh, the ether. ether. Oh, that'd, what, that'd, make... that'd be bad. What, so, there was one town called New York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was once a country Stark called America. The ether. Turn uses eth the liquid form of the ether for a new core for an arc reactor. He doesn't need it though. Dark stock. Yeah. Or it's basically the equivalent of if America bombed New Japan more than twice. Dark Stark one, eh? Yeah. Doc. Quite possibly. Yeah. So. Well, he's, he's sort of heading into that territory with Civil War. Yeah. Mm, yes. Well, the, the the Civil War in the comics is effectively... Um, the government puts in a law that says all superheroes need to be registered no matter what so that we know who you are and we can track what damage you're doing. Stark is on the registered side. You register. And then you've, Captain America's on the freedom side, the don't register side. That's my understanding well, of was, Civil War. Yeah, well, that's exactly Civil what it War. is boils down to in the past it has similar, similar parallels to fascism yeah yeah and obviously captain america is entirely against fascism pretty much so you know what it looks like yeah you know what's funny in the comic books that one the one line that made it hilarious is when they all meet up at the um plant at the uh stock at the uh at the um like power plant or something and both sides yell avengers assemble and no one knows what's going on. They just charge anyway. <laughs> well, they are all Avengers. They just yeah. don't see eye to eye at the second. Except Spidey. Yeah. <laughs> Spidey can go sit on a pole. He will. Oh, wait, he does. He does. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they can hang for pole. Uh, but come on, you think about it. So, if, I'd rather not. Um, you. <laughs> They're all Avengers, technically. Well, yeah, it's... No, Fantastic Four aren't. 
well, they were involved at one point. Yeah. So the thing about Avengers is it's always been a rotating roster. It's been um, sort of a what heroes do we want to stick together this set of issues type deal. So um, it's sort of anyone in Marvel who is a good guy can be an Avenger. Like even Wolverine was an Avenger at one point. He was yeah, one of the more stable Wolverine. members. So more, more, one of the more consistent show members. Them the middle, the middle finger blade. So, yeah. um, <laughs> okay. Do we yeah. want to Hold do on, we have any wait. news? One, one last thing. Yes, one last thing before we go to news, please. One thing Space I did him. notice with the um, please, 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 at like the end of Avengers when Iron Man split up, that's the West Coast team that went with him. So. Yeah. West anyway. Side. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, uh, news yep, time. News, news. Yeah. Stuart, you better be quick. Sorry, I totally forgot. Gotta be okay. Yeah. <laughs> you always forget. <laughs> I, fig I figured it wouldn't have much, so you've got three minutes. Yeah. I was saying, um, the biggest, I got one. Okay. I was saying, the biggest news is, is Jared Leto. <laughs> yeah, no, was... God, no, no, just no, no. The fan reactions were amazing. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry, but my opinion, best, best Joker is Heath Ledger. Yeah. Oh, no, don't End of start story. that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, please, we don't. We're we... not starting fucking flame wars, you stupid old man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, sh shut up, Stuart. Oh. I will airlock Do both you of you. Watch... We have Do the you news. Really want your Joker to look like Riff Raff. I don't <laughs> actually don't mind the <laughs> funny, and I don't mind the look actually. The tattoo yeah. is a little iffy, but I like the hair, the gloves. Like uh... Okay. Okay. Cont quickly, news before it ends. Yeah, David yes. Scarecrow, what is yours? Well, NASA's managed to pull off another happy accident. And Ooh. <laughs> testing a potential new engine source, and they may have inadvertently created a warp bubble. Yeah, yeah. that hasn't been confirmed by NASA. That all, The source of that is actually a NASA forum, and it may or may not actually be a thing. I just want to put that disclaimer on there. If it is a thing, that's they awesome. Did, it did state it did state so. in there they need to test it in zero G conditions to see if it is a yeah. actual thing. They're not gonna announce it officially until after they test it up there. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's do it. But still might be a happy accident. Yeah. Woo So uh got some X Men news. Uh night uh because of whole I have a whole apocalypse now all the X Men are now young. Yeah. What and since we know Nightcrawl's the son of Mystique, is yeah. that going to change since we have a young Mystique and we also have a Nightcrawler as well? Oh no. Hmm. Is... Sounds kinky. Because how, how is that going to need? Yeah, well... <laughs> well, Nightcrawl is able to walk, or sort of teleport through space. Yeah. Possible time link? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 And, and he, has, he, has done a he has done time teleports before. But yeah, um, I've got, some but video game, I've got some video game news actually. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, it involves Arkham Knight. Yeah, I know I'm hampering on DC. But uh, Robin, Nightwing, Catgirl, and um, I'm gonna say his name wrong. Um, Azrael will will all be characters in Arkham Knight. We don't know how they'll be involved, whether it'll be DC or DLC or not, but they will be involved. Now, nice. I'm talking about a computer yeah. game that's mainly built for consoles. You can almost put money on them being DLC. Okay. Yeah. By the way, oh. when I say when I say Robin, I mean Tim Drake Robin, not two different Dick Graysons. Yeah. Because yeah. that was the, cause Tim Drake was the Robin that was in Arkham City. Yeah. Um, okay. On other news, there's a group of fans who are trying to refurbish an old Star Trek film. Have I you got news on that? that? Yeah. Yes. So um. I'm gonna bring this up quickly because I lost it. <laughs> wow. It, it, uh, Shelve uh, for next week. No, I got enough time. time. Yorktown. Star yeah, Starship Yorktown. Yeah. There's no, there's a GoFundMe to um for them to get the um film onto digital and a digital re-release. Yeah, which is which would be absolutely epic. Okay, you have 40 seconds to say your goodbyes. Doc, go. Waiters. Cooper! See ya! Amy! Bye all! Scarecrow! See you next week, guys! Stuart! Ciao! And I shall be seeing you guys later. Have fun, and we shall see you next week. We will have top 
five sci-fi technology so we will have to get all our lists ready and we'll have a nice good discussion then we'll catch you later